break it down. Let's do this. What is up, Hedgehog Maniacs, Doki Fanax, Sonic X17 here. As you can see, I'm back with more Doki Doki Summer Hope. Which of course is a mod for Doki Doki Lucha Club. Last time I saw I play MC and Natsuki went out on a date and everything. But before that, Monica was a little concerned about what she did when she was spending time with Sayuri and everything. MC gave Monica some advice about the whole thing. And the rest is history. Enough chit chat. Time to dive in. Let's do it to it. Sunlight streams through the gaps in, the, in my curtains, waking me gently. 6 a.m. Still a little while before I have to get ready. As consciousness returns to me, so do memories of last night. I smile to myself as I look to my side as sleeping Natsuki. <laughs> last night was a real roller coaster. The date, her injuries, and then. I reached out and stroked the side of her body, her so skin soft and supple. <laughs> she's not just my girlfriend anymore. She's the woman I love. Damn straight, MC. And I will protect her. Those bruises on her stomach. I still can't believe her own father would do that to her. Son of a bitch. My smile disintegrates into a grimace, my jaw muscles bunching in anger. He needs to pay for this! I will make damn sure that he does. <clears throat> no. That's not important. Not right now. <laughs> I slide myself out of bed and begin to pace around the room. I have to get her out of that house ASAP, but we can't act too hastily. As tempting as it would be to just have her leave immediately, we need to have a plan. That's true. He threatened to kill her if she told anyone, so if he, so if he even suspected that something was amiss, the consequences don't bear thinking about. Exactly. Would he really do it? Kill his own daughter? The idea is completely alien to me. My parents may be distant, but they've always been kind to me when they when they have been around. They've certainly never gone out of their way to harm me. Still, considering the things he's already done and what that would do his reputation, I don't think I put it past him. I wish we could ask for help, but I'm the only one who knows. For now. I continue to rack my brains for ideas until I heard rustling from behind me. I turned, I turned around just in time to see her face pop out of the covers at the front end of the bed. <laughs> kind of surprised about this CG, honestly. <laughs> But still, I didn't realize at the time that she was naked, but at least she's covered, otherwise I would be in trouble. Anyway. Hey you! What are you doing up so early? Hey, I was just thinking I guess. About what? Just try to figure out how we're going to do this. Just you and me. This is gonna be this is gonna be tough, but we have to manage. Mm. I've had some thoughts on that actually. Hmm? I'm I'm gonna tell everyone. Hmm? Yuri, Sayuri, Monica, they can help us. Are you sure? You were so afraid of telling anyone at all last night. Yeah. Well, thanks to you, I'm less scared than I've ever had been. With you around, I 
feel like I can do anything. I feel like you can't get me anymore. I feel safe. <sighs> Natsuki. I know. I know we still need to be careful, but I trust any one of them with my life. <laughs> Honestly, I think that might be for the best. If we can at least still help, I think I might have a plan. So, what I was thinking was... Hey, one thing at a time. Let's just see if they can help us first, okay? Sure. In truth, though, I can't stop worrying. I feel you, MC. This feels like 2019 all over again. I continue to pace up and down the room, biting my thumbnail as I go over potential strategies in my head. Hey, Sonny X! You gotta worry yourself to death! You got a lot bit more time before school! So why don't you come back to bed? I'm not sleepy! Me neither! Oh! Okay! <laughs> eh, dummy! <laughs> uh, is this what living with Natsuki is going to be like? I could get used to this! <laughs> Being this way with her, she had this kind of intimacy. It was the most wonderful thing imaginable. All too soon. My phone's alarm chimes. Time to get ready. But I, but all I wanted was was but all I wanted to do was lie there, her skin against mine. <laughs> you one lucky guy, MC. <laughs> Cause she is best girl. After getting dress. We've had a hearty breakfast. We need it after that much extortion. Now that Natsuki is upstairs putting the finishing touches to her hair. While I wait for her to emerge from the bathroom, I sit and try to watch the news. I can't focus though. I can't help but agonize over the coming days. Planning and replanning. It's almost a coping mechanism in and, of itself, in, in and out, out of itself. So we get her out. What then? What is he going to do? I mean, he's obviously going to, going to notice that she's gone. Will he come after her? Probably. Yeah. Is this such a good idea after all? When the alternative is letting her continue to live, like continue living, no, existing there, this is definitely the right choice. <laughs> exactly. Yet still a dangerous one. Also true. That said, he likely doesn't know who I am or where I live, so we got that on our side. For now, my train of thought is violently derailed by a loud knock at the door. What? What the hell could that be? The delivery guy? I'm not expecting any packages. What else could be in it at this time of the morning? My stomach tied itself in knots, fear, fear gripping my heart. He's starting to get paranoid. Was it him? Can he follow us after all? Impossible! No way! Shaking, I extended my hand to the door handle. I gently opened the door. <laughs> Last time you did that? <laughs> it was Sayuri, you know. <laughs> Speaking of which... <laughs> hey, big bro! Sayuri? What are you doing here? 
You're early! Oh, that was my car. Good morning, Zodiacs! We left early to get some breakfast, so we thought we'd come and get you from your house! Oh, thank God! It wasn't him. I mean, of course it wasn't! <laughs> This whole thing has got me jumping at shadows. Ah, <laughs> uh, that's nice. My voice trembles as adrenaline fueled panic begins to dissipate. Are you ready to go? We need to get going. We're going to pick up Natsuki as well. Let's get as well. Yeah, one second. Yeah, one second. Let me get in my bag. Wait, what did you say? Did you say we're going to... I got Natsuki, yes! She's on the way, so I'm sure she won't buy. Oh, crap. Um, uh... Oh, hey, I just remembered. Natsuki said she had to go in early today. Something about returning some equipment to the home egg room. <laughs> he's, he's trying to cover up the fact that Natsuki is here is is with MC. Oh, that's too bad. Can't be helped, I guess. Oh, I was looking forward to having a talk with her. Oh well, let's go, big bro. You you guys go on ahead. I still have some things to do. Thanks! Yeah, if you don't leave soon, you're going to be late! Seriously? I know I experienced this, but still, when you do that pose, Monica, it's like you're hiding something. Just saying. That's kind of what we posted right now, though. <laughs> what cares? It, it's nothing, really. I just need to. You're acting strange, Sonyx! Come on, out with it! Yeah! What are you hiding? So nice to lie to your little sister! Uh, well, it's just... Uh-oh. Oh, boy. Hey, Sonyx! I put a bunch of my clothes in the wash with your stuff! I hope that's... Okay? Is that pose again? You stop doing that, Monica. Well, well, well. Looks like someone stayed well well last night. It's not like I was just. Ooh! Well, cat's out of the bag now. <laughs> you think? Come on, Natsuki. You don't have to be embarrassed. Sayori. She's right. We're all friends here, so relax. No one's judging you, here. <laughs> oh man, you really got awkward for a moment there. <laughs> you guys! Thanks! <laughs> Gotta tell your best by saying all the, go all the gory details. Hey, I thought I was your best buddy. If not me, then what about Monica? Silence of the Lambs. It's a great movie, I'm not sorry. 
<laughs> uh, she recorded the line correctly. You would be impressed. The mention of the name stops everyone dead in their tracks. Yeah. Things have been weird with her ever since the Sayuri incident. But still. I wish she didn't have to miss out on moments like these. She, she just doesn't live in the same neighborhood. It's bad luck, that's all. It's not like we're doing it on purpose. She understands. Right? I don't know about that. Then why do I feel so guilty? <laughs> Judging by the other silence, they must feel the same. Hey, Sayuri! Come on, let's walk and talk! Uh, yeah, right! <sighs> Come on, Sonyx, let's go before we're late! <sighs> Man, that was something, wasn't it? <laughs> we, walk on, we walk onwards towards school, the crisp morning breeze tussling my hair. Natsuki and Sayori walk on ahead, whispering and periodically giggling to each other. Who knows what secrets of mine they're discussing? <laughs> it doesn't matter. After last night, seeing them like this is like an oasis of normality. Maga walks by my side in silence, also watching our lovers' conversation. <laughs> Sayuri and Monica. This is one of the first mods to have the Sayurika ship. <laughs> I'm not complaining. They make a weak they make a weak cute couple. But the back of my mind lingers all the doubts I've been having about Monica and the night of Sayuri's suicide attempt. I can't I still can't reconcile my thoughts on the events of that night. Still, whatever Monica's involvement is, I can't help but think, think her intentions are pure. Together he saved her life. I... I talked with Sayuri, just like you said. It went well then? Eventually, yes. We talked and talked later into the night, trying to figure out what we, what we were feeling. And you know what? We didn't actually come to, the, to a conclusion on that. You did it. But, we couldn't figure it all out, but we realized that we didn't really need to. Not yet, anyway. All we knew was that there was a spark of something between us. That we could ignore it and stay friends or take a chance to see where it goes. As you can see, we decided to give things a chance. We don't know where this is going to go, but we just had to try. I'm glad. I really am. Sayuri deserves to have someone like you. Thank you, Sunny X. She thanked me again and again. But I get the fear that she's not talking to me anymore. <sighs> Talk talking to the player. You did this, did you? You did this for me! You gave me a romance option. Granted, it isn't what I expected, but I'm so happy. I never thought I could love anyone but you. I never saw these girls as really real. Not until you, after you deleted me. And in my absence, so you began to do the exact, exact thing I had just done. At that moment, in the limbo of your recycle bin, I realized that I wasn't special. It's like... It's indicating that it was the normal ending. All, all the girls had the potential to do what I did. So I shut everything down. Just so I didn't have to see Sayuri commit the atrocities that I did. Maybe... Maybe even dead. And I really started to fall in love with her. Then you came back. Changed the game and gave me another chance. You just 
yourself another chance, Monica. Times have changed. <sighs> Gave us all another chance. It's all thanks to you. Thank you for everything. <sighs> I guess I know how you feel now. Are you in love with the words of the? Are you in love with where these goes? Ah! What's so funny? Oh, nothing. Just thinking about how this is the happiest I've ever felt in a while. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> Before long, we arrive at school. Classes pass. As usual. I never seem to be able to remember anything from any of my classes. I always seem to get decent grades. <laughs> Maybe it's just a natural talent. <laughs> Time for Loja Club. Time for Loja Club. Time for Loja Club rolls around as it always does. Today's agenda consists mostly of open day play, but I think things might be a diff might might take a different turn today. I'm going to tell everyone. It's time to start putting our plan into action. In the usual fashion. Natsuki and I entered the club room together after class. To my surprise though, everyone was there on time for once. <laughs> I love you two! Is everyone ready to begin? Yay! Never day play commits! I'm ready whenever you are. Yo, he clutches a smile notebook with practice poems written on the front. Looks like she's been doing a lot of prep work already. Especially compared to what that kid I have contributed so far. A grand total of absolutely nothing. <laughs> then again, we kinda had bigger things going on. Exactly. Um, guys, before we start, I really need to talk to everyone now that we're together. voice falters, all the fear she's been feeling for all these years boils to the surface. I look at her with concern drawn plainly on my face, but my chest swells with pride. What she's doing now is so incredibly brave. I catch her eye, smile and nod to her. She smiles back at me, the bravado she displayed this morning re returns slowly. Honestly? It's probably easier just to show you. She stands at the front of the club room, untucking her blouse and pulling it up as far as her ribs. Not making eye contact with anyone, she shows her bruises for a few seconds. And she tucks herself back in without another word. Natsuki! Oh my god! No! No way! This is it! I never thought! I never expected it to be this bad! Yuri! What do you mean? Natsuki! Those bruises! Not from your father, aren't they? Yeah! They are! What?! I can't believe this! Natsuki ex begins to explain everything that she explained to me last night. Hearing it for a second time isn't any easier. <laughs> Sayuri's in tears. Yuri and Monica both look like they're in shock. <sighs> so, that's why I need your help! <sighs> yes, of course! Anything! We'll do anything we can to help. I promise. Well, the idea is... I'm moving you inside the X. Huh? See that? 
You know it's Yuri's reaction. My dad's going away for a comic sex Saturday, but only for the night. When he gets back, I'm gonna be gone with all my stuff. That's where you guys come in. With all five of us, we can get everything out of one day and be gone before he knows what hit him. Simple but effective. Now? <laughs> Who's with me? <sighs> get away with you. Big one will take care of you. <sighs> I'm in. No one treats one of my club members like that gets away with it. <sighs> Natsuki. What's with that look? Natsuki. I'll help you. I'll help you do whatever you want, but... Are you sure you're ready for this? What do you mean, ready for this? Well, the story went, there's your dad. Don't you think it's a bad idea to antagonize him when he's, a, when he's already like this? When he figures out where you're gone, what then? And the other thing is, are you sure you're ready for this kind of... No relationship? Now hold on just a second! Natsuki, you never had a boyfriend before. It's barely been a month that you want to move in with him? Do you realize how insane that sounds? Honestly, you two should really just take things slow and casually until you're ready for something adult. That's... It's, I didn't realize it at the time, but... Yuri's jealousy is kicking in. Oh, I think I'm ready for something adult. I definitely was last night. Oh boy. Natsuki, that's... Wait. Oh yeah, someone lost their v card last night. What? Sayori, sweet. Why would you say that? She's right, though. So deal with it. Look. I'm sorry. I don't mean to be a bitch, but I need your support right now, okay? I need you, Yuri. <sighs> You're right. I'm sorry. Of course I'll help you. I just hadn't realized how close you and Side the X had got had gotten. I misread the situation. Yay! Thank you! I mean it! The two girls show a warm embrace, the tension in the room instantly melting. After that, the club meeting continues as normal. Yuri reads some of her new poetry. She's done a pretty good job of using simpler language. Still needs work, but she's made massive leaps. As the meeting comes to an end, we say our goodbyes and start to head home, leaving Yuri to lock up. This isn't how it was supposed to happen. This isn't what I was promised. Please. Show me again! Show me what I have to do! Now, when I did this the first time, I didn't realize that something sinister was going on. <sighs> we spent the next few days laying low, waiting for our moment of opportunity. Just acting normal. Walking to school like normal. Talking to my friends like normal. Taking classes like normal. Eating my lunch like normal. Going to literature club like normal. Planning for the open day like normal. Debating with Yuri. Dialing with Sayuri. Sharing insights with Monica. Holding Natsuki's dandy, soft hand. All like normal. The normalness of it all is exhausting. 
but sadly looming large in the back of my mind. And no of what were undertaken. Not to mention the potential consequences. Not being able to act until there is for not being able to act until then is forcing my mind into a feedback loop, sapping my energy with every cycle. A cycle of planning, worrying, and reassuring. It's torturous. As it's seen her to the end of her, of her street every day. Seeing her beautiful smile turn and walk away from me. Towards that place. The home she shares with him. Her tormentor. Her torturer. I just want to take her away right now. Just live in our own private little world. Somewhere he can't get to her. I can't imagine what she must be feeling right now. It'll be all oh, it'll be over soon though. Just a little longer. That's the only strain of comfort I can cling to right now. Hey guys, thanks for watching the video. If you enjoyed it, smash that like button and let me know in the comments below your thoughts and opinions. If you want to see more of my content, hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications so you won't miss another video, or you can check another video out as you see on the screen. See you guys later! Quit doing that, Monica!